Yo, what is good, everybody? It is your boy Ant, one half of Delinquent Duo here, coming at you with the Dino Shadal Dogmatica gameplay. We got some low rated DB action here today. This is just a nice replay I thought would be good to show off and kind of analyze my gameplay for you all. But before we get into that, I want to thank you all for clicking on this video today. And if you guys like the content that you see here, please give us a like and consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps us out. We're trying to get 100 subscribers by the end of September. So please help us out and do yourself a favor by getting some good, good content. With all that out of the way, let's go into the replay. And I'll start off by showing off my opponent's hand. My opponent is going to go first, of course. He has the Squeak Knight, Durandal, Heritage, Noble Knight Renaud, and Magical Midbreaker Fields. I start with Double Evolution Pill, Obi Raptor, Shadal Fusion, Ultimate Conductor, Tyranno, and a Fossil Dig. So we both pretty much just open the absolute nuts here. And this Magical Midbreaker Field is just way crazy. And he actually opens it again in our game two. So let's go through and see the play. So he sets that, of course, Midbreaker Field and then uses his Durendal to go into the Ogier. Ogier effect is going to send the Gear Freed, which is going to allow him to get that Gear Freed out for another negate. Really, really strong monster right there. We got the Oliver for the Gear Freed. And he's going to go into the Assault, of course. Before he gets the Assault off, he's going to go for the Gear Freed. Catch the Ogier, sending Living Fossil and the Smoke Grenade, of course. And I actually like this TG Striker in this deck as well because um, if your opponent controls monsters, you can special summon him. And you can also special summon the uh, Red Layer, I believe, if I know that effect correctly. But basically, it's just a free tuner to special summon. So, free extender, a little bit better than the 6 Sam tuner in my opinion so he's gonna go through all this plays I'm just gonna fast forward this a little bit because this is just all the synchro combo that we know so again uses the roar Don uses the arc light and actually has he actually uses a little bit different um, synchro monsters so right there you just seen the dragite and he actually uses FA Dawn dragster he's gonna take a look at my hand right here and I just want to pause right here because this took like two minutes for him to decide because my hand was so nuts. He eventually goes for the Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, which I think is kind of an okay discard. Um, Ovi Raptor would also be, I think, an okay discard as well. Because I have the Fossil Dig and have the Miscellaneous Source, so he's going to have to negate one of those two things. He already thinks he has the uh, Spell and Trap Negate with the Dawn Dragster, so I have to bait out one of his spell negates with that so I try to do Shadal Fusion as you'll see here um, but off the draw I get a, just another nut card right there big nut Shadal Fusion he's gonna negate the activation and I'm gonna just activate another one right there and that is pretty much gonna seal the deal for him I actually make a misplay here um, because what I wanted to do was send out the app clone because I wanted to negate the gear freed, but of course I forgot the mid breaker field was up, so I actually couldn't target that gear freed. So that's kind of sad right there. And then I just go off and use the other shit all effects. Um, the aerial, I just uh, banish the Renault, the living fossil, and the smoke grenade because it didn't want to get, didn't want him to get those um, effects back. Um, I sh probably should have gone for the Roland actually because that Roland is a quick effect in Brave and it would allow him to get a pop or actually um, put it on Gear Freed so next time I'll definitely consider doing that. I think that's probably a better DD Crow target right there. Um, here's another play I wanted to go over right here. I get the baby and this is probably the least safe play I could do with Dinos because I, I I'm just going to try to force out this negate right here, um, he doesn't, and then when I try to use the misc effect again to banish and special summon my Arcasaur, that's when he hits the negate on that right there, and um, yeah, bad news right there, but I'm able to play through it because I already have the double evolution pill in my hand of course, so just banishing the other ultimate conductor Tyranno and the beast to get that and that Ecclesia that I drew was also crazy as well. 
because it'll allow me to get my third engine in this deck. The Dogmatica stuff. Um, I use the baby in hand for the UTC. And then go into Dolka, of course, to negate any further monsters. And then I'll have the OTK right there with the Florida Leaks as well. So, going into game two, my opponent, of course, is going to decide to go first once again. And I'm going to fast forward this just a little bit again because he's going to go full combo. Like I said, he opened the Magical Midbreaker field again. I, unfortunately, didn't open the best hand. I mean, I got the Obi, but he's just going to rip it out next turn. I mean, rip it out on his end anyways, so let's watch our opponent go full combo. He starts off doing the same thing as he did last time, getting the Renault and all that. Gear Freed, a Soul, and then Gear Freed on the Obi Air, and sending those stuff, getting his Tuner, going into the Marcher, getting all that back, Herald, and then Needle. I think that's really, really strong right there, and then going into all that. And he's actually able to extend just a little bit more as well because he uses all that to go into the Dawn Dragster and then uses the Dawn Dragster to go into Savage this time. So now he has the Savage. I'll pause it right there. So he just used the uh, he just used the smoke grenade to get rid of my Ovi, which hurts a lot. And then he has the Savage negate, he has the pop, and then he has the gear free negate. So I probably won't be able to do much. Of anything after that. Uh, I try to get my Shadal Fusion, of course, that's gonna be negated with the Savage. And then Amador and Arcosaur. I actually choose to use no effect right here because I think I wanted to I was able to get conductor special summon from my hand anyways, if I link into the link Karibo. But his guys are actually way bigger than Conductor. And if I just try to use the Conductor effect, he's going to negate it with Gear Freed anyways, and it'll destroy my Conductor, so it just kind of hurts. And then, So I kind of just pass my turn, and he's able to go off with the Charles and pop my card. Um, what I wanted to do was actually try to use conductor, Conductor's effect so I can get Dragon into the Grave. And if I got Dragon into Grave, I would actually be able to use... Conductor and Dragon to go into uh, Shadal Construct, which maybe could do something, but you know, he's just gonna destroy it anyway, so really doesn't matter in the end. I maybe could have played that a little bit better, but there's nothing I can do. I just have to pretty much scoop it up right there because I know I'm just gonna get OTK'd with the other gear freed in hand, anyways. So, going on to game three right here. I'm actually choosing to go first this time. I decided going first. I thought he probably wouldn't expect that. He'd probably expect to go second again and um, he opens double gear freed, the jets, living fossil, and smoke grenade. So he kind of bricked a little bit as well. The jet is full combo, but it's not going to be full combo through all this stuff I'm going to do right here. I got the OV Raptor, I got the Ariel, I got Judgment and Ecclesia. So I pretty much have access to all of my engine right now, which is just crazy. And I'll get the OB effect and get the baby, which is what I was trying to do last time. And then the Misk to banish for the Inamador and Archosaur, and then Archosaur's effect, destroying the baby in my hand. Getting the double evolution pill, special summon another baby, use OB Raptor's effect to pop that baby, get the other one back, and then get the Miscellaneousaurus. I actually don't play um, Giant Rex in here, I'm trying to see how that works, if the extension or if the brick is like worth it, you know, to play. But I think Misk I usually go into anyways because um, I'll usually end up using the Misk first for just himself, and then I have no Misk in Grave for follow-up next turn. So if I get the Misk right here and turn it into a Dolka, then at least on my next turn I'll be able to detach it for something, and then uh, have the Misk in Grave later on. Definitely want to go into a Link 2 right here. I was deciding if I wanted to actually use my Dogmatica stuff, but then I wouldn't be able to Special Summon from the extra deck for the rest of the turn. So I actually see that I have the Ariel in my hand, so it actually allows me to have the Shadal stuff live. And um, before I go into the Pirata Plant right there, I'm going to use the Double Evolution to, of course, get the Ultimate Conductor out. Banishing the Archosaur and Link Karibo, and then I'll use Verte's effect 
making himself shut all fusion, and then shut all fusion's effect, and use the stuff in my hand and on the field to make the window. So I basically have, you know, a simple board, but Dino really actually relies on the simple boards, you know. This is pretty impossible for anybody to play through, especially with the judgment set right there as well. Got two monster negates, I got the wind of floodgate, and I have even more control with the ultimate conductor tyranno as well. So there's just a, a lot of stuff that my opponent won't be able to do at all, especially with this hand. He draws the Durandal for turn, which of course lets him get uh, a Rota. Search out the Sublimation Knight. But he's probably thinking, what is the best to summon? Of course, Gear Freed is probably the best summon because you could at least try to out the window by attacking over it. But the Solemn, of course, seals the deal on summon for him. And that will do it for my opponent. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for the video today. We got some nice low-rated DB action over here. I want to thank everybody for watching, and if you guys like the content that you've seen today, please again consider giving us a like and subscribing to our channel. It's going to let us know that you guys want to see more DB content like this. We have tons of decks to show off, and if you guys want to see the list that I used today for my Shadal Dino Dogmatica deck, there will be a, a link in the description and a card at the top right. I'll have the full deck profo profile for you guys. Again, thank you for watching, and peace.